part two. So I don't know where I left off at. Actually, I might go off on where I left off, man. Make sure I like subscribe. We can right into it though. Nicer. I know how I can tone my emotions. Y'all, man, so me being more nice and controlling me. Emotions, so look, I was in the hospital. I really wasn't controlling my emotions, I feel like, I gotta say, because uh, it was real easy to piss me off. Like, like literally, I was, I don't want to say a kid again, but I was like, emotional as fuck and I, I I can see why like most of the shit I was going through most of the shit that I didn't have comprehension of that I thought I did um, not having nobody there for me not being cared for but that shit don't matter because I'm a grown ass man at the end of the day you feel me so look at this I need to realize that these outside these outside S fact X factors, you wanna put it as <clears throat> these motherfuckers wanna put I honestly I heard a thing fifty cent was saying and he was saying don't um if if somebody put deposits in your life so if they sit here doing for you not even money wise like helping you giving you advice Damn, being a good person encouraging you stuff like that putting the positive in your life positive stuff in your life as far as a person that's not putting the positive in your life why do you need to associate yourself with that person why do you need to be around that why are you putting your uh energy into that when like when it's it's you been always you by alone by yourself doing what you do or people just leeching on or just there just to be there you know I ain't even gonna speak on half of motherfuckers. Half of you motherfuckers that I really can't speak on. Cause I'm just gonna, you know, just see what the fuck going on, you feel me? But it's crazy because I thought all these motherfuckers had my back, bro. I thought everybody was there for me, bro, when I was in the hospital all alone. When I was going through other shit alone. And damn near low key, I was in the hospital. Low key for mental problems. For real, for real. Mental shit I was going Damn, through, man. mental uh, mental health. I didn't have no nobody to help me with that shit. Um, I was low key not trying to, you know, no more. But that was that was um, I want to say a hippie call because it was like that's other shit that I got diagnosed with that that helps me with. And when I was in the hospital, besides my inhaler, y'all, my bureau was like. Inhaler asthma. Um, Damn, they gave me a sleeping pill on behalf of me asking low key. Yeah. Uh, it was a sleeping pill. They gave me a, another anxiety slash um was like a it's just a psycho psychologically it's basically for that like a psychological thing within your brain or you know shit like that. So and then they also gave me uh, another medicine. So. They gave me three, and it was all for the same shit besides sleep, but it was still within that medication, it still was um, what they what they considered, and that's anxiety, um, 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 I wanna say social anxiety, cause I do that shit, I don't, I don't give a fuck, you know? I normally got anxiety when I was in my head, like, just feeling like you trapped inside your head on some shit where you can't, you know, that's what the weed did. It got you away from there, or it got you thinking about, like, I don't know how to explain this shit, because I don't know everything, or everything, my nigga. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, like, they put me on three medications for the same thing, which is anxiety. I don't believe anxiety, because I feel like anxiety is just you telling yourself some fearful-ass bullshit, or you living in a, a, a fear-ass, a fearful state. And I'm recording this on... You know, so I'm finna start putting a standpoint. If I really want to get down on some shit where I'm so professional, Damn, I'm really down with this shit because I've been doing it for a while. But y'all gave me three medications for the same thing, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> but why would I say?
sit here and take three medications for the same same thing that causes that helps me with the same thing i know some of y'all like because you need help with it that's why you're there yeah i understood that but i'm telling you i, I took medicine before and this shit didn't have me like it didn't have me feeling like y'all seen them before when you say you want to be doped up and all this other stuff if you read do andrew tate mental health and just people mental health in, in general everybody always was talking about working out i've been doing like y'all that's why i say I right, was the last video because I, I did this video basically, but I didn't like how it came out. I didn't like how my approach was, so I'm redoing it now. But like, why, why, why would I sit here and just be depressed or be like having mental problems over the little, the littlest things? Like, you know how Andrew Tate come up. Oh, my girlfriend left me to the note. Like, it wasn't it was no shit like that. Like, I mentally had shit going on in my head that I, like, I wanted to go see them for because it was going out nowhere good. Like, even now, I, I still get the shit. I still got those thoughts. I still sometimes, they not my thoughts because I don't think my thoughts are my thoughts. They just come to me sometimes. Like, how God tell you shit, you know? But I was like, okay. I started talking to myself different. Started looking at shit different. But if y'all gonna put me on three medications for the same things, uh, pharmaceutical company or, or the drug, whatever y'all wanna call yourself, bro. Cause y'all, y'all, this shit gonna end soon. But it really is. It really is. I hope they legalize this shit in WI, Wisconsin. But. They was basically tough. They was like, no, like for real. They was in there telling you, like, yeah, you're crazy, and you been if you've been thinking this way, and if you've been having these type of emotions, and you know, just just trying to sell me, not basically, basically trying to sell me a pill. I wouldn't have to pay for it because I had, you know. But they was basically trying to put me on some stuff. Like, if I was to be like, oh yeah, woo woo, this shit smack. I'm like y'all know y'all follow y'all know y'all know. So. They was doing that in the process of me understanding I didn't want to smoke no more. I didn't want a chemical ass reaction of how to make my brain tell me how to feel or how to articulate my emotions, you know? And these motherfuckers did the same thing. That's why I'm like, bro, what is the point of this shit like? But it was just, you know, some time to get away from everybody. Even though I wasn't around nobody. I don't know how to explain this shit. It's this, 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 this physical world. A lot of shit gotta get explained still to us because we think we know everything when we don't. But this physical world, it, it, it's something, you know? Like, it, it ain't, it's easy. It could be easy living here, but it's it's a lot to deal with sometimes because you got pain, all type of other shit. That's why I ain't scared. I ain't scared to die. I think I ain't scared to die. I can't, I won't say I can't wait because I want to leave something impactful on this earth. But I, but I, I you know, like when I die, I die. But, I'm realizing, like, okay, if y'all gonna sit here for medication, why would I not sit here and just get my brain right like I've been doing all these years? Work out a little bit more. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I damn near had an eating disorder, but I dropped to, I think I told y'all last video, it was like 110, 109. I was like 125, and this was a matter of like five, six days. Like, I'm not babbing, I was in the hospital for the approximate of. of I don't know what I'm saying. I just woke up. <clears throat> Within that six day thing, bro, it was crazy. Cause that's all this shit going on in the six days, bro. Like, mm. okay. You know, I'm working my job as well, Damn, doing other, other real life shit that I had to deal with. But just cause I didn't have nobody that was listening to me for real, for real, I couldn't. Like, you grown, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this, you gotta move around. Like, even I still notice this shit right now today, even when I was in the hospital. I'm telling them, like, let me stay here, let me get some sleep. Like, you know, I was just thinking about something the other day, like, we can't do that, and da da da. They just basically put me on the medication, which I feel like they just drug me up or gave me the drug and kicked me out. And then I'll just be on top of that. Meredith, aka, yeah, the hospital. Y'all niggas tried to put me on. Not Nazi, Nazi a medicine, and then kick me out the hospital. Is you, is you for real, bro? And then y'all try to critique me like I was crazy, 
but I ain't gonna lie, I appreciate that shit though. I love it and I and I see really truly who I am and where I come from and what I've been through and I really wanna take that shit. Mom camera cut off part three, man. If y'all want part three, make sure I like and subscribe. I'll be going up with those scraps on the way, bitch. Let's go.